we're talking about load center distance and fulcrum. So we got load center, L O A D center, and fulcrum. But two different things load center and fulcrum. So we've got a forklift which is going to magically appear right now. My blades, I'm not an artist. Our mast, our front tyre, a little bit of metal there, a little bit back tyre. It comes up and up. Then we have overhead guard and it comes back down there. And me driving the forklift. That's actually a real picture of me. Now, there's our forklift today. Yeah, it doesn't really look the same. Now, when it comes to fulcrum, fulcrum is literally where the front wheel touches the ground. So if I go through and I draw the ground in, literally our fulcrum is going to be right there. It's like following an imaginary line up through the middle of the tyre. So if you have to draw fulcrum in with a triangle, the tip of the triangle is literally where the bottom of the tyre is. Now, we have load centre. Should have actually put the word distance in there. Load centre distance. So we look at this word, it says load. So it's talking about a load. There's our load. Centre, which will be in there, that load centre. Then the distance part. The distance part actually comes from this thing here, and it's called a heel. It's the same as the back of my foot, where there is a heel. And we literally go up there, and we draw a little line straight across there, arrow there, and that's load center distance. But this one was fulcrum like that. So you've got fulcrum touches the bottom of the front wheel and load centre distance, load which is there, centre which is there and distance is from the heel with the heel going up there across there. So that's your load centre distance. Okay, 